Do what you enjoy while you can. By Dr. Glenn Millett. Life and the world are always changing. What you can do today is not guaranteed for tomorrow. Do what you enjoy while you can. None of us want to face every day filled with fear. Worry about tomorrow only messes up today. Watching the news keeps our minds churning about what will happen next. When will China invade Taiwan? How much will it cost America in lives, money and hardship? Russia's invasion of Ukraine is of course, costing us. We have spent over $54 billion on aid to Ukraine. Many of us want to help Ukraine. Yet, we struggle to cover the cost of our country's government. Here we are again spending money we don't have while we go into further debt to countries like China who is buying up our debt, land and businesses. Who operates a business like this? Only America. The latest word is that thousands of additional IRS agents will be hired. Agents will need something to do and that means auditing your tax returns. Instead of hiring 87,000 new agents we need to hire some security guards for our schools. Further, the IRS needs to simplify the tax code. Americans need a few deductions like business expenses, interest paid on mortgages, health care and educational costs. Better yet, make it a 15% flat tax on everyone and eliminate all federal taxes on those earning under $50,000. Does the prospect of being harassed by the IRS inspire you to work harder, make more money and be entrepreneurial? Americans are already beat down by the high cost of groceries, gasoline, housing and rising interest rates. Emotionally, this planet has been in a dark place for two years with COVID-19, now monkeypox, financial strain and always, always an ongoing war that we are involved in or supporting. America's universities continue to stick it to young families who want their children to have a good education. State-funded universities and private colleges continue to increase tuition. Do you really have $160,000 to send your child to college? Most likely, the institution being consideration charges even more. The only hope for many American families is the two-year community college. Many teenagers would benefit greatly to have two more years to grow up, some before landing in a dorm room 200 miles from home. The prospects of making it academically, socially, and financially will be greatly increased. This gives them time to seriously consider the right institution to go to for the junior and senior years. They will still have the degree and save some money. Finally, don't live in despair. Life goes by quickly even if you are young. Study work, make money, be innovative, love people and be kind to everyone. Do some things you think you might enjoy. If you don't enjoy them, then move on to something else. Enjoy life and do what you can, while you can. Hear Dr. Glenn Mollett every weekday morning on XM Radio 131. Learn more at glennmollett.com. Like his Facebook page at facebook.com slash Additional biographical. Dr. Glenn Milletti is a graduate of numerous schools including Georgetown College, Southern and Lexington Seminaries in Kentucky. While here please consider subscribing to this channel.